Hey guys, so tonight will be a short night of astrophotography. I only have about two to three hours of clear skies before the clouds come in, and I'm also dealing with a 90% waxing moon. So because of that, I plan to take some shots of the moon using the Celestron 6.3 uh, focal reducer. I would like to compare the differences and see uh, what the moon looks like with and without the focal reducer. I was told that if I don't use the focal reducer I can get better resolution uh, when shooting things like the moon. Um, the reducer is really used for uh, when you're doing deep sky objects, uh, nebulas, star clusters. So yeah, I really want to compare the differences between using it and not using it to really see if I can get better resolution and really just see how it works. My rig for this evening is the Celestron 6SC telescope with its stock mount. Uh, I also have the GPS, but that's not really used for much. And I'm also going to be using a Canon T2i to do the capturing uh, by attaching it to the reducer and without the reducer to the back of this telescope. Anyways, the moon is getting past the trees now and it's uh, just about time for shooting. So I better finish getting set up. Hopefully you stay along and uh, hopefully you learn something. out. Ah, so I finally got my Batnoff mask um, and I zoomed in uh, before trying to record this and I could see that it works pretty well. I get the deflection uh, spikes that I expect and I was able to get better focus. So I'm going to take the Batnoff mask off now and uh, aim it back at the moon. Okay so this is a video of the moon uh, using the Celestron 6SE telescope, the 6.3 reducer and my Canon T2i. To show you what this train looks like, let's just take a look up here. I'm using the 2 inch adapter to T-ring, as well as the uh, 6.3 focal reducer. Okay, so I'm about to switch uh, by taking the focal reducer off and then seeing what I can get. I'll have to refocus, get my object back in view, uh, and I should be good from there. All right, let's start by taking off the T adapter and then I'll remove the focal reducer. Okay, so this is a setup without the focal reducer. Uh, I'm just using the T-ring adapter straight to the telescope. And I can already see that I'm not getting the moon in full view. Um, and I might have to split it up between two different shots and then stitch them together after. Not by much though, I mean just the top and bottom is being cut off. While you watch this mesmerizing moon video, let's talk a little bit about what a focal reducer does. A focal reducer essentially reduces the f-ratio on a telescope, effectively giving you a faster system to shoot with. This means that you can take less exposure times at f6.3 to achieve the same results when shooting at f10 with longer exposures. A focal reducer can also give you a wider field of view, which has its advantages. In my case, I can get the moon completely in view with my Celestron 6SE telescope. On the flip side, not using a focal reducer can increase your overall image resolution while decreasing your field of view. Notice the difference in brightness between these two videos shot with the same settings. Shooting at f6.3 concentrates more light, giving you a slightly brighter image. One downside to using a focal reducer is the amount of vignetting that it produces. Here's an example of that. Thankfully, this can be corrected in post-processing using flat frames. Okay, so that about wraps it up for tonight. I was able to get shots both with the reducer and without the reducer and I've already seen some differences already. Uh, it is obvious that when you don't have the focal reducer on, you do have a shorter field of view, uh, compared to when you do use the focal reducer, you have a much wider view and you can fit the full moon into frame. But yeah, I can already see that the clouds are starting to roll in, so I'm gonna pack up and call it a night. Thanks for watching. Before you go, I took the data I collected on this night and began processing it in PixInsight. I was able to get a few images from this session, which I'll show you now. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks again for watching.